Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back here with the first of the vendor wax haul videos from my forwarder box. So um, the first vendor video I'm doing is the Rose Girls Mario Melters haul. So <clears throat> I wanted to do this one first um, because I do know she has a ready to ship coming up, which I won't be doing, which will involve extras from um, this pre-order. And um, also because there's some things in here I'm sharing. So I want to get that sent out probably as soon as the Christmas weekend is done. Um, so yeah, Mario Melters. Um, I know there's been a lot of videos on it already on YouTube. You know, it's a pre-order that she does every year before Christmas. And then sometimes some of these scents will sort of be through in pre-orders throughout the year as well. Um, I've Last year I just got the, she did like a Mario Melter sampler. Um, like 12 days of Christmas or something. Um, and that was really cool because you got to try like just four um, Mario Melter pieces of a bunch of different scents. So um, I think I've only got one scent here that was in that sampler last year because um, I wanted to try some new stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll get stuck into it. So I got one scent. I don't have the card here. She doesn't normally send a business card, but I think it might be stuck in the box somewhere. Um, so um, yeah, I got one half pie. So she basically she does um, these Mario Melter bags, which are like the mini melters, but bigger pieces. And they're quite big pieces this year. They seem bigger than what I got last year. Not that the bag has more wax in it, but just the pieces, less pieces, but bigger sized. And then I... Sorry, I just have to take a quick break to negotiate with the little one. Um, so yeah, pie. So these pies are very very big um so yeah i just i don't know i thought it was a novelty i thought it'd be cool to try um and i got it in this scent which i am going to be cutting up i'm sharing with somebody but um go tell it on dk's mountain so fresh pine sweater weather and vanilla bean noel so this i got like i said this was the only scent that i got from got in the sampler that i did last year that i got again um because I did. There were quite. A, there were a few scents I liked in that sampler, but I just there was a lot of scents I tr knew that I wanted to try, and I also wanted to get this get this pie. So, um, there's what it looks like. It's going to be a bit of a pain to cut, I think, but that's fine. I seriously love this scent. It's. I'd say it's my favourite sweater weather scent ever. I love her sweater weather is fantastic. And I just, I love the touch of vanilla bean Noel. Like it's not too much, but I just, it just adds this slight creaminess to that, you know, fresh, really fresh sweater weather and the pine, the green treed pine. Sorry, the dog. Yeah, this is not the best time for me to be filming clearly, but. Oh man, I love this scent. So this, yeah, this was definitely pie worthy. And I felt like this one... I do have some issues with the longevity of Rose Girls, um, but I think the fresh scents tend to last a while, so I figured I'd be safe getting a bigger quantity in that one, because um, even though I love it, I'm not going to melt it super quick, you know, that's just not me. Okay, so onto the Mario Melter scents, that, so the smaller bag. So the first one... He's misplaced. I said I will place Mario Kart with him. Um, yes, so we, um, if he finds his phone and he's getting frustrated because he can't find it, um, his phone, my old phone that he uses for Mario Kart. Um, all of this, this Mario pre-order is actually more significant to me now because he and I have been playing Mario Kart a fair bit together lately. So, um, I mean, I already knew about Mario and some of the characters in Mario, but at the moment, yeah. Anyway, super sweet Mario. So pink sugar, raw sugar, hoogie, marshmallow, smoothie, cotton candy frosting. So I was a bit nervous about this one because of the cotton candy frosting. I don't always love hers. And the royal sugar cookie is... I've, I've had okay blends with it, but um, on its own, I, I, I really dislike that royal sugar cookie scent of hers. So that's what that one looks like. It's very cute. Okay, so this one's not bad. It's definitely like a nice pink sugar bakery. And it's not overly sweet because pink sugar, like it is a sweet scent, but it's, I don't know. I 
always struggle to describe pink sugar, but I really like it. I mean, I've had definitely had better pink sugar bakeries than this, but <sighs> yeah, this is going to be a very interrupted video. Yeah, so it's quite sweet. It's got a light kind of bakery note to it. I don't get too much of the cotton candy frosting, which is good. Yeah, that's not bad. It's just a kind of, yeah, it's a pink sugar cookie thing, I guess. Uh, Pina Colada. So this is lemon poppy seed cake pina colada marshmallow smoothie. So I do love pineapple-y pina colada-like scents, and I like lemon with pineapple, so I thought... That would probably be a good thing. I like the colours on this one. And it's not bad. I've definitely had, I mean, I guess because it's not, it's pina colada, it's not like straight pineapple. I've definitely had better lemon pineapple scents. I do like her lemon poppy seed cake a lot. It is a very good um, lemon bakery. Yeah, the pina colada smells a little bit more fresh than it smells pineapple. A kind of tropical fruity scent. It always smells melon-like. So it's okay. I like the lemon poppy seed. I don't know if I'm loving the pina colada, but we'll see how it melts up. Uh, Moon Mario, so American Cream Pink Sugar Zen Morning Sex. I'm not the biggest morning sex person, but, you know, a lot of people rave about this scent. And morning sex, it's too, I don't know. It's not the sort of masculine cologne sort of scent that I like. This is good. I actually quite like this, though. Hmm. It's interesting. It's very hard to describe. I feel like I definitely get... I definitely get, like, a masculine tone from it, but it's not overly so because it's got that... American cream, which I think is like a strawberry milkshake scent. It's not really, but that's what Blush calls it. So it's kind of like a creamy body care sort of thing. Yeah, this one almost makes me think of like, like someone's bathroom where there's like a real mix of like, you know, a man's just been in there and they've sprayed themselves with their cologne or whatever and like, a, like really sort of... A, like really masculine and feminine notes all together and they don't blend into something unisex because you can smell the masculine elements and you can smell the feminine but they just yeah it smells like kind of a shared bathroom I like I actually kind of like it it's interesting it's definitely not what I expected uh, Wicked Plumbers. So this is birthday cake, lemon cheesecake, waffle cone, carbs, which is donut cookies and bread. A bit nervous about this one because I've seen at least one video, possibly two, and I can't remember who it was, sorry, but who said that the lemon cheesecake is not really there, and I mostly got it for the lemon cheesecake. Um... Okay, so I actually do smell lemon cheesecake, but it is very, very subtle. This is definitely more bakery, but I definitely, I do get that, you know, cheesecake has that slightly kind of sour cream, like cream cheese or sour cream sort of note. So I smell cheesecake more than I smell lemon. But I do get a touch of lemon. It is, I do wish there was a lot more lemon to this, but. It actually smells like, it, to me, this smells like a really nice, this does actually smell like a really nice cheesecake. With like a, you know, a carby kind of base. Yeah, that's, that's, it's not bad. I do wish there was more lemon to it, but it's not bad. All right, this one was always going to be a risk. So Thwomps, which is pine, peppermint, sugar, cookie dough, campfire marshmallow. I know a lot of people are big fans of her peppermint. Um, I'm generally speaking not a peppermint lover. Um, some vendors I can tolerate their peppermint, but um, Rose Girls tends to be overwhelmingly strong to the point where I can't smell anything else and it gives me a massive headache instantly. And yeah, this this just smells like peppermint. <laughs> um, I was really hoping that I'd get some sugar cookie dough or some marshmallow or even the pine. And maybe I do get a slight tree note, but it's just peppermint. 
her peppermint just completely overwhelms literally everything that it's in for me. Like, I just can't. I know people love it, but for me, it's a no. So that is a no. Definite no. <laughs> um, Rose Girl sh Sherbet Land. So blue sugar, vanilla ice cream, snow powder, and cool mint. So I know what I just said about mint, but that's specifically her peppermint. And seriously, just smelling that gave me a headache. Like, it just, I cannot cope with her peppermint. Um, But this one has cool mint. So I don't know. I just thought I've... I've enjoyed like minty blue sugar blends before if they're not too minty. Yeah, and I like, I actually quite like this. I get that sweet vanilla ice cream. I do get the cool mint. And I like it because it does, it's not an overwhelming mint. It's not spearmint. I don't like Rose Girl's spearmint as well. Her peppermint and her spearmint. I can't do them. I can do other vendors, but not hers. The cool mint, I don't know, it does, it smells like a mint, but it's like a, you know, a breath mint, but in a more kind of subtle way. There's almost a slight masculine tone and that's not coming from the blue sugar. I don't know. I mean, I'm not like crazy about this one, but I like it. it I, I definitely will enjoy melting it occasionally. Okay, so uh, Cooper Claws needs a latte. So this is espresso, baked zucchini, red royal sugar cookies, Gilligan's Brew. So I've had Cooper Claws is coming to town, which is the baked zucchini, bread, the royal sugar cookies, and the Gilligan's Brew. And I really liked it. What I liked was the, the Gilligan's Brew is, to me, a really good, unique kind of coconut. And so I wanted to try the, the coffee version because so many people rave about it. And it is, it is really good. It's a really good coffee bakery. You don't get the, the Gilligan's Brew as much as you do in Cooper Claws is Coming to Town. I would have liked to get a little bit more coconut out of it because I really do enjoy that coconut. It's a strong espresso, but you still really get the bakery. So that's really good. We'll enjoy that. Um... I got another one. So this is a new scent. So Fire Mario. Marshmallow Fireside Donut Holes and Espresso Beans. So I don't know if Espresso Beans is the same as Espresso. I really love the colours on this. It's super, super bright. Okay, so this is a lot stronger Espresso than that Cooper Claus Needs a Latte. It does have the slight kind of burnt roast espresso scent whereas the that Cooper Claws one does not I don't really get marshmallow fireside I do think I get a slight donut hole scent but not much it's really mostly coffee hopefully the bakery in that comes out more because it's, it's okay but yeah it's mostly just that coffee uh, two more scents, so Cookie Land, which is confetti, cake, toffee, butterscotch, pretzels, and cookies. So when I ordered this one, I already had a muffin in this, and the first time I melted it, I really liked it. Subsequent melts, it smelt like caramel, like the caramel of a caramel apple, and I haven't enjoyed that so much. But this is smelling really good again, so I don't know if I've still got that piece of Cookie Land around. That maybe I can compare it to because I'm not sure if it's just my nose kind of switched off on this one for a while or if it actually cured into something I didn't like. Because right now it smells like a really good, like rich but not too rich bakery. Slight kind of salty pretzel but not too much. So yeah, it smells really good here but I just, yeah, the last time I melted it, I did not have a good time with it. So hopefully... That one goes all right. And then the last scent I have is Autumn Mountain. So Cider Lane Dunk My Donut Pumpkin Calm Waffles. Uh, so not much variation. It's kind of like a, yeah. This I mostly get a cider scent. So like Cider Lane. It's okay. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's mostly just cider. There is slight sweetness from that pumpkin pecan waffles, but it's not distinguishably pumpkin pecan waffles, you know. Yeah. We'll see how it, hopefully the, the bakery butt parts come out more. Okay. Um, so that is everything for my Mario Melters haul. So um, obviously go tell it on DK's Mountain, absolute favourite of mine, already knew that. Surprised about the moon Mario um, and how interesting that scent is. Um, Cooper Claws needs a latte is really good. Uh, Wicked Plumbers I think is okay. I do wish there was more lemon. Um, the rest, um, yeah, I'm... Um, uh, Sherbet Land is, I think Sherbet Land is pretty good as well. So, um, yeah, that's it. So I'm not going in on the ready to ship. Um, I don't have any other scents that I need. Um, so this is it for me for the Mario Melters for this year. Um, hopefully you're all doing really well and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.